Hello everyone, it is June. I wanna say it's like June 14. I never know the date, you guys know. Um, so it's June 14. It is a Monday and it is a very Monday feeling Monday. But we are pretty much done with the day, thank goodness. I wanted to start off this vlog by cooking because it's like the only thing helping me get through the day, eating. Um, because it was very stressful. I literally filmed a video and then I was pretty much done and then I had to refilm the whole thing again because the whole video was blurry. I lost like an hour, an hour and a half of very precious time. So we're gonna cook because it's going to just be some therapy for me. I partnered up with Our Place to make this video. If you're not familiar, Our Place is a cookware brand. If you've ever heard of the Always Pan, um, then you know about Our Place. Um, I'm gonna be honest and say that I'm sad and I'm mad that I didn't try Our Place sooner. I've seen it everywhere, so many other people using Our Place and now I know why. So you guys will probably also like be pretty amazed once I show you everything I'm gonna show you. So besides the Always Pan, which basically it's actually right there behind me, that pan. First of all, aesthetically pleasing, isn't it? It's just really pretty. And it's like the always pan because it's the pan that you basically use for everything. So I'm gonna cook in that, but they have knives and cutting boards now, or a cutting board, which I'm going to show you because it's pretty amazing. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys the knives. So it's literally three knives. So you guys like have those knife sets where it's literally like so many knives and you probably only use like two or three of them all the time. So that's literally me. I don't even know what all those knives are for. So basically our place streamlined knives into probably the three that you most use anyway. So starting off with this knife, right here and it's nice because it has a little cover um so this one you use for like breads and things like that and then you have your very typical knife right here for pretty much anything and then lastly you have the little knife right here this is probably like the knife that i use most it's great for sous chefs chopping dicing like food prep kind of thing so literally it's just these three knives right here all right so a couple things about the knives number one they're super sharp very very sharp um they are rust resistant so they're not going to rust which is amazing um there's like a pinch grip right here so that it's like super comfortable and it makes it easy for you to grip and hold the knife as you're like chopping away and also it comes in four different colors i got this one to pretty much match the pan right there okay next up i'm going to show you their cutting boards so look at this bad boy right here so a couple really great things about this which i love so you have your chopping side right here which if you see this right here it has a juice trench so if you're cutting things like tomatoes things that have just like expel a lot of juice it's sometimes really annoying when it just kind of sits there and you're having to like spill it or wipe it or wash the whole thing all over again um i don't know if you can see but it kind of dips right there so it goes down um that way the juices fall there and then it falls into this trench right here so it's not spilling over your board because sometimes actually a lot of times that happens like it'll spill and then it'll get onto your countertops i hate cleaning after cooking in general so this literally helps you keep your area clean it's double sided so the one side is the cooking side and this side is like your serving side so you can use this also as like a serving platter for your cheese board cheese plate charcuterie boards and things like that it's also made of black walnut wood so it's supposed to like muffle the noise when you're chopping because sometimes chopping can be really loud and annoying so this helps keep your knives sharp and helps decrease your chopping noises also it does stand up so it's like space saving and also it looks really nice like displayed against your backsplash if you wanted to do that just because it's very like minimal so not only is it super efficient and really really useful but it looks really good too what are we making for dinner by the way we are going to make sesame mirin pork rice bowl jamie has been using the whole our place which he just came home he's been using the whole our place like set and he's been loving it, right? That's absolutely correct. Come in and say hi. This is like a Hello. like what he's been wanting to for you know cooking since he's been doing a lot of cooking. But I'm gonna do our cooking tonight. This looks good. Yeah. I'm excited you picked this meal. Okay, so I'm gonna trim the broccoli, peel and trim the carrots, coarsely chop the peanuts, and then separate sliced pork. 
Okay, so I started chopping the carrots just like this, kind of like in slivers, but super easy. Very sharp, very precise, fast. And it's super comfortable with me holding it on the pinch grip right here. I never really realized how like much easier and more comfortable it is having that. I feel like a lot more confident too. It's like safer at the same time. Especially since I'm not like the best cook. I know some of you guys are gonna tell me that I'm probably chopping and cutting all wrong, but I don't really care. This is why I use things like this. Same with the broccolini. Just supposed to chop it all up, just like that. gonna coarsely just chop up these nuts and then that's pretty much it I think for the prep but I feel like if I was using my other knife it wouldn't be as easy to chop up these nuts if you know what I mean all right so now I'm just gonna open up the pork pat it dry and I'm gonna season it with some salt and pepper so I do want to show you how I would use this knife right here. Um, I feel like I would use it more for meat or something. So even though this is already like cut and sliced for me, I don't like how big these pieces are. So I'm just going to cut it, make it smaller, and that's pretty much it. But you see how easy it was to just go through? And this has like that pinch grip too. All right, so now we're just going to go ahead and cook the meat. This is the always pan. I just took the cover off. But this is literally the pan that can do everything. You can fry, saute, you can cook like dumplings in here to steam stuff. It can be like your cast iron skillet if you want. It does everything. That's why they call it the always pan. Okay, so I'm just gonna add some oil. Then we're just going to add in our pork. All right, so here I'm just using the wood spatula that you can get um, from our place. What's nice is that it has this little thing right here, and this rests right directly on top like that. So smart. So now we're just going to cook the pork. Also, the nice thing with, with this is that because the pan is the way it is, you don't really need that much like oil. Here's Jamie, and here we're almost done cooking the meat. And he's been using it too, like I mentioned. Yeah, I really actually like this a lot better than what we were using because it doesn't get everywhere. It's not real messy, it's nice. Yeah. Very easy to cook with. Slaughter is at a minimum, which we like. Now I'm just going to do the veggies now. Jamie to try. Thank you. <laughs> Taste test. All right, here we go. Mm. <laughs> All right. This is good. This is the one. Yeah, it better be. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for our cooking portion or my cooking portion. If you guys are interested in any of the Our Place, whether it's the knives or the cutting boards, which I absolutely love, um, and I know you guys will too, or the Always Pan, then be sure to check the description box below. All the links, everything you need to shop and everything I have will be linked down there. Um, and yeah, stay tuned for the rest of the vlog. Hello. Here's Presley Bear. We are getting ready to give her a bath. It's part of your nightly routine, isn't it? Part of your nightly routine to get a bath around this time. Because you're going to go to bed soon. Yeah. She's getting so big.
This girl is so, so big. big. Just putting Cressy's bath together. This is the path that we use. She's getting too big for it, right? Yes. Chunky little monkey is even getting too big for this bath. Bath time. You know what time it is. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No, I wanna hug her some more. <laughs> getting ready for a bath. So we can't get enough of her. We literally want to inhale her all the time. It's so hard not to just like want to inhale her. <laughs> her little feet just kicking. Oh. <laughs> it's okay, we're done. We're done. You can put it in. Good job. You almost got it. You want some help? No? <laughs> Here. There you go. So it is now almost 9 o'clock and... Presley has been down for almost an hour. She's in bed and we are about to watch 90 Day Fiance, which is our little like guilty pleasure. That we love to watch. Yeah. All right, let's do this. I don't know this wine. I think we got gifted this wine, but it's a cab, so I'm gonna try it out. Jamie already made himself a, an old fashioned, okay, which that. is so yummy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you doing? I want to show everybody my old fashioned. Oh, that's really yummy. Cheers. And here we go. What are you doing? I'm getting. What happened to that? This that device. Have? Oh, okay. What is that? An aerator? Yeah, I guess. There we go. go, 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 go. <laughs> Why don't you start with that? Okay, wow. Messy guy. Mess. <laughs> Not bad. Yummy. Okay, let's watch. Okay, let's watch. I'm putting in. Want this to girl should not tickets. go to South Africa because her because boyfriend is the kids will not see each other. And that hurts. I want fiance. my kids to see their dad. The meeting she had with the lawyer, if it anyone else watches really this, annoying, but then I also have to was a joke, and he doesn't he deserve. I've been in South Africa and seen to how much people get paid uh, there. Yeah. Good morning. It is June 15, Tuesday. <laughs> um, so it is now 9.39, literally almost 10 o'clock, and I usually don't ever start getting ready this late, but Presley Bear kind of had us kind of had us up a little bit um, last night. So she started sleeping on her tummy since yesterday. And it's kind of a scary thing because I don't know if she wants to be there all night. So like last night she cried because she had been on her tummy sleeping comfortably for about like maybe six, seven hours. So then she started crying and then I was like, should we turn her over on her back? So I was thinking, okay, we should turn her over on her back. And then Jamie went in and did that. And then right as he turned her over and left the room, she put herself back on her tummy. Um, and then we gave it some time and then she started crying again. So then, I put her, I went in myself and put her on her back again. And then she also did the same thing where she would go back on her tummy. So I'm like, okay, well, I feel like this is like a learning thing for her where she needs to learn how to put herself on her back if she wants to be there, but it didn't seem like she wanted to because she kept going back on her tummy. So I need all the advice from all you ladies <clears throat> and men, fathers and mothers on tummy sleepers. like. Should I just let it be? Um, are they okay? She definitely was hungry because we feed her a good amount before bed. So, I don't know. It's always just such a guessing game. And I'm paranoid because, you know, we do have the Newton mattress. It's breathable. But we did watch her quite a bit. So, that's what's happening. <laughs> and 
I'm just getting ready, putting on skincare right now. Vitamin C from Tula. I feel like so rushed in a way. I'm gonna try this out from Tula. It's like the brightening eye balm. Okay, I need some more. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the 24 seven moisture. All right, Ugh. just a whole bunch of sneezes. Ugh. I don't know what it is. It's like allergies or something, but my eyes, my lids are so dry and I like scratch them and pressing is the same thing too. So I totally forgot to film me putting on my foundation, but it's really CC cream by It Cosmetics right here. Love this, especially for the summer, it has SPF. Coverage is great compared to like other tinted moisturizers, I guess. So use Shape Tape Concealer, which I am like liking this all over again. Something new that I have been loving so much is the Makeup by Mario. Um, his whole soft sculpt line is great. So I've been using this one for like my contour. Um, and these are sticks, but he also has powders if that's what you're mostly into. So I'm more of a powder girl, but I love how these sticks are more like soft just like the name just like for every day this is nice because it's more subtle and it really blends so easily i feel like people do it and it looks so easy and seamless but i think i just don't like how sometimes you can put it on and it kind of moves your makeup or takes like your foundation off but this honestly is making me like and appreciate like creams and stuff because it's so easy all right, so almost ready. So literally, this is probably the worst get ready with me vlog, but I mean, that's life now. It's just crazy. I mean, I was up with P middle of the night, up with her this morning. Now I'm getting ready. It's literally almost 11. I'm emailing, texting about our master bedroom that we're redoing with just the furniture, emailing my manager. Oh my god, working at the same time and that's also why it takes me forever to be done and get out and actually start the actual creative side of my job because the admin side also kicks in and I have like major OCD about it all and I didn't really film me with Presley this morning um, just cause you know, it's like our time, it's really hard. And also Jamie um, has started kind of like traveling again for work. If you guys have been like longtime followers and you know that he would travel a lot for work and um, like every week, sometimes one to three days a week he'd be gone and he hasn't had to do that in the last year or so and then now he's starting to last week he went up north for a day today he's not flying he's driving to san diego but he'll be there for the night uh, but now presley here i mean we do have help so i'm very grateful for that but at the same time it's just me if he's gone just gonna make up by mario um eyeliner which was another reason why i was so excited to get the pr package from makeup by mario with the soft sculpt stuff because i just already was like a big fan and already had bought a bunch of his products so this was very exciting for me so i use his liner every day and i use this um liner as well this is like the brightening pencil liner on the waterline at the bottom just so that i can look like alive and awake and refreshed like that and then i've been really loving too faced better than sex mascara you guys know that i have been like religiously using um maybelline's lash sensational along with it cosmetics and i obviously still love it and the great thing about this is that i was always layering those two mascaras together but with this one i'm able to just use this alone but look at the one coat already um, and of course I'm using the waterproof, that's why it's green and has like little water droplets on it. And then for my bottom lashes, I've been loving Giorgio Armani. I used to use this on my bottom lashes all the time. Um, and then I ran out and then I went to the Tarte Mascara Lights Camera Action for the bottom, which I love. Um, but then they sent me, Giorgio Armani sent me uh, this one. So I'm back to using it. Okay, so now last thing is um, blush. So I'm gonna use Mari Makeup by Mario's Soft Coral Blush Stick. So usually, like you're not supposed to 
do cream blush over powdered but I feel like if you dab it really lightly it's okay and I'm using like a brush that's very stippled like this um, this one is by bare minerals and then I also just kind of like go like that on my arm before just like dabbing it on that way it's not like a harsh line I also like it to be cohesive so I'll like add some of the blush to the places that I like contoured and bronze just like that and then I'll just kind of like add some more powder just to kind of blend it in just like above where the blush is pretty much done I just want to add some highlight Laura Mercier indiscretion so pretty and this brush is a it cosmetics brush as well just gonna put some lip on I love this liner a KKW nude 1.5 And then my favorite, Patrick Ta. She's confident. Another one that I literally have gone back to and always go back to. And sometimes I'll brighten it up a little with the lighter color. And she's secure. And that's that. I'm about to film a little date night video um, featuring very affordable items from Misguided. I have to be a little quiet because Presley is about to take a nap. She's trying to put herself to sleep right now. Um, but yeah, I have all this stuff right here, all for date night. So I'm going to be filming that right now. Somebody woke up from her nap. Hi. Hi. Playing. Say hi guys. You're so big now. <laughs> All right, it's now 1.15. Finished filming. Um, I didn't show it because I had to use this camera to film. But I have my lunch. This is a salad from Health Nut called the Noodle Rama. It's really good. And then I think I'm gonna do a TikTok that I have to do. Kind of behind on work. So I'm just like playing catch up. Look who's back from her walk. It was a hot day. Look, Pressy Bear. Tell them it was a really hot day. They went to the mall and had some fun. Presley is a regular at the mall. Did you buy anything? Did you buy anything? Let's show, no. Let's show them your outfit. Got some nice cute flower slippers on and a matching yellow onesie bubble. <laughs> All right, I'm getting ready to film a TikTok video um, about just like all swimsuits and things like that. So if you guys are not following me on TikTok yet, then follow me on TikTok, it's just Naomi Boyer. But I wanted to let you guys know, um, if you follow me on Instagram, which you should also follow me on Instagram, it's just my name again. Um, but we are redoing our whole master. So everything behind me is gonna go into the guest bedroom. We're just doing the furniture, not like any builds or anything. The chaise behind me is staying because we love that chaise. It's been like one of our best home purchases because you know, when you have like the bed all nicely made like that and you're like wanting to just lounge in the bedroom, you don't want to mess up your bed. So this is like the perfect thing to just kind of lounge on. Um, so I'm just kind of currently making final decisions with the designer that I'm working with for the master. So this is some, or these are some swatches that we have decided on so that's gonna be for like shades which we don't have shades we just have blinds and then some new carpet I love our carpet but you know we're redoing everything so everything has to just kind of flow and then that's gonna be for some fabrics for um, some chairs that we're getting to go like in front of the bed excuse the really half-ass bed that I made this morning um, but yeah, got a whole bunch of swatches here that we had to like look through. All of this stuff is literally for, or literally swatches for the master. And we're also doing our backyard. So I'd wanna change some things 
in the backyard as far as like landscaping goes and our pool like i'm not a really big fan of like the tiling that's in our pool it's like a blue navy blue tiling i want all of that out and i want it to all just be like cement um the same color cement that we have on the backyard like floor that we walk on but we're getting all new uh backyard furniture which i don't know if you guys have ever noticed we have never gotten any furniture for the backyard except for a temporary dining set from target that was always temporary um and the reason for that was because we just weren't sure like where to go with it like do we go low end for a backyard furniture do we go high end like having that temporary furniture from target taught us that it gets so dirty so fast in even in just a day like we'll wipe it down today and we'll go sit back it on it tomorrow and we'll like literally swipe our finger across the table in the chair and it'd be black so i think we're doing like middle of the road items so nothing high end but nothing too low end um, and things that are just really sturdy that can last um let me know if you guys want me to do like a video or like a vlog of the progress of both let me know in the comments bear so it's around 6 06 um, p.m. I'm just giving little Presley bear a snack she's just like staring at the camera um, so yeah we are gonna probably go outside after she eats this um, and she also goes on a daily walk <laughs> um, and so we'll do that and then it's gonna be bath time and then it's gonna be time for bed so I'll feed her and then change her diaper, and then put her in her sleep sack, oh. and then put her to bed close to or around eight o'clock, and that'll be that. So I'm gonna probably end the vlog here. Um, but yeah, you guys, if anything from the video that you guys want links for, it will be down in the description. Everything down to this Bjorn, baby Bjorn um, chair that she's in right now, which is just awesome. Um, we will link it for you and then also the Our Place knife set and the Always pan and things like that. I have a Pepsi in my hand just because I'm kind of feeling like I need some type of caffeine or just bubbly something. Right? It's been a day. It's literally only Tuesday I feel like I ran a whole marathon. You want your snack or no? <laughs> oh yeah, and then give me tips on the whole like sleeping on your tummy. Like, do I need to worry about that or not? All right, you guys, say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.